In today's lesson, we're going to start playing around with a little bit of lighting. And the lighting I want to work with is when we go ahead and fire our lasers, which now that I'm looking at it, we don't have a gizmo for our lasers. So let's go ahead and create one. I'm just going to make it yellow. And we'll go ahead and apply. Apparently that did not apply to all of them. So I'll just select them all and then gizmo them this way. Oh, I guess you cannot multi-select gizmo. I did not know that. That's fine. All right, so we've got all those set up. I've gone ahead and set the ones up in the previous video, in one of the previous videos for the thrusters. So I wanna go ahead and start adding light for when we're thrusting and shooting. So we'll work on just for the thrusters right now. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead, close down the lasers, select both thrusters. I'm going to add a component. The component I want to add is a light component. And I'm going to zoom in here. Well, let's zoom out a bit. See these big circles? There's one for each one. That's the actual range. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that down to, what's four like? That's a little big, maybe a three. We'll start with a three. And we'll zoom in a bit more. And let's go down. So there's different types of lighting. Right now, we're going to work with a point light. And a point light is, well, exactly what it sounds like. It's a light at a specific point. This circle is the area that it's going to illuminate. Anything outside of this, it's not. Now, there is that slow roll off that you get. So it's going to be brighter in the center and you know not quite so bright near the edges. But that's fine. What we really want is just to have it really bright near the center anyway. Since our ship is going to be moving, we want to bake this in. Or sorry, we don't want to bake this in. We want this to be real time. Uh, the range, we're just going to adjust to taste. Now the color, I don't want white. I want something around what my laser, or not my laser, sorry, the thruster color is. And I think I've gone with some orange and yellows. So maybe let's take a, a, a pink. And already you can see the difference here. If I go ahead and flash this on and off. Now, as far as intensity and bounce intensity, I'm going to skip that. We'll come back to it. I want to look at the halo next. If we go ahead and click it, we get these really bright halos, which is really cool because as we turn it on and off, we'll see these halos behind our ship as we fly around. Now, later on, once we've covered coroutines a little bit more in depth, you can actually come in and write a coroutine. So instead of just turning the light on and off, you can actually have it dim and brighten simply by playing around with the intensity. So the lower the intensity, the less the light, the, the greater the intensity, the brighter the light. And right now it looks like the bounce light for point lights in real time is not supported. But basically the way that works is you know, when light hits a surface, it can bounce off or a certain amount will bounce off in another direction. And you can go ahead and basically adjust how much of this bounce we get. Again, my ship is going to be moving fast enough and I'm not going to be that close to it. It's not really going to matter that much to me. You'll see it pop up on asteroids once you actually go ahead and start putting models in for them. That's about it. Great. So we got a, we've gone ahead, added them to the thrusters. Uh, there's a few more things we look at here. Shadows right now have no shadows. You could go ahead and use hard shadows. And if we notice a little bit of difference in here, and even soft shadows which will look a little bit better, a little softer around the edges. My ship, again, is going to be moving fast enough that I don't think I really care. I could probably leave it to no shadows and really have no impact on the actual visuals of my game. But again, it's one of those things that's completely up to you. What do you want? So I'm actually going to leave mine at no shadows for now. Well, I guess we'll have a little bit of shadow. Since our main direct light does have shadow right now. We've got it set to a soft shadow. So let's just go ahead. We'll have a soft shadow set for these two flares as well. There we go. I'm just going to use the quality settings. And for the rest of the values, I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And two more things I want to point out. Uh, the halo. If you've ever gone ahead and shot a flashlight on the ground, you know that pattern it makes on the ground? That's the cookie. So you know how sometimes you have like that instead of just being a nice big circle of bright light, it'll have those dark rings inside. That's a cookie. Each type of lens will give you a different type of cookie. Again, I don't want to download anything right yet. So I'll come back and cover cookies when we do. 
Uh, flare, it's along the same sort of lines. When you look at a bright light from a, a certain angle, you get that flare. I'm sure everyone's seen it in a movie or other video games. Again, when we actually start downloading assets, we'll go ahead and come back and cover these as well. So let's go ahead and write a script to work with these. So I'm gonna go into thrusters. We're gonna go ahead and grab the light and I'm just gonna call it, I don't think we can call it light because I think that's actually a reserved word. Let me check, it used to be. Yeah, and it's crossed out. So just to avoid any confusion with someone that might not be running an old or an up-to-date version, let's go ahead and call this thruster light. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and make sure it's a required component. Just so I know when I add this script to a new game object, it'll always be there. And of course, it's equal to get component. The component we want is the light component. And then when we turn it on and off, we'll just simply go ahead and say thruster light dot enabled is equal to true. And likewise, when it's passed in false, we'll just make it false. And by default, if we come back in, I just want to take a look here at my line renderer, or trail renderer. It's on. Uh, by default, I'm going to have my thruster lights turned off. And I'm actually going to go into the, the start method and make it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and reapply my ship. So in Unity, everything should be set. I'm going to make the start function. And we'll make our thruster light dot enabled equal to false. Just in case I ever do go ahead and add one of these or this thruster script to a new game object, I know that the light will start off false when my game starts. And to be honest, we probably could go ahead and add this as well. All right, let's save it off. We'll come back into our game. Hit play. And now when I thrust, I'm not getting the light. I'm not even getting my trail renderers. Come back in. And let's look at player movement. And in player movement, we're actually not calling the thrusters yet. That's what we've got to set up next. So we do have the air ray. Let's make sure that it's filled out. We do have it filled out, so we'll come back in. And right at the start here, I'm just gonna say if input dot, well, instead of actually going with the input for the W and the S, we can actually just keep with the axis. This should work as well. So if it's greater than zero, but then this is gonna constantly be turning it on and off again. Ah, uh, we'll go back the other way. If input dot get key down, and the key we want is key, oh, not key, key code dot W. I'm gonna say for each thruster. And I'm just gonna call these T in thrusters. And I believe that's what I called it up here was thruster, yes. So iterate through this array and for each thruster, we're gonna go ahead and call thruster dot, I think it was just activate. There we go. We do not have to pass true in because the default value is true. Then I'm also gonna say else if input dot get key up. So the first frame where the key is let up, the key code we want will be key code dot W. We'll do the exact same thing, except now we're gonna pass in false. So this should turn all of our thrusters on and off. Let's go ahead, we'll try it out. And away we go, and it turns the lights on. Again, it'd be nice to maybe later on add that coroutine so it doesn't just turn on and off, but dims. But there we go, let's try to get really close to one of the asteroids. Um, my radius, Let's be hard to see it affect the asteroid actually because we're going so quick. 
But the radius of my lights themselves are not that big. That's why I'm not too worried about shadows. Uh, it's not supposed to be some all-encompassing light that's going to affect everything in my scene. I just wanted to give a little bit of a visual as I accelerate. Anyway, that's it for this video. I want to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. So if you like the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. You're a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears.